Hi, Toys. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Yeah, doing great, thank you. And so excited to be able to talk to you because I had a great time with this film. And, you know, this is such a fascinating character. He's got this dark past and he's now, you know, trying to do his best as a dad. So for you, what was it like to explore new sides of yourself as an actor with a role like this one? Um, you know, it, it really didn't feel like acting for me. Um, you know, I'm a father. I got two daughters, 17-year-old, a 5-year-old. I've always wanted a son. So when Chris was casted to play my son, um, he's became my son in real life. So I kind of I walked away with a double two 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 hander of of love and energy. You know, um, we spent a lot of time together just to make sure that you know we were very specific about wanting the world to believe that you just got here. I've been uninvolved in your life for whatever that reason was or reasons and making it clear that irregardless of where I was, what I did or didn't do, I'm all you have and you're going to have to find some, some respect somewhere. It's somewhere on the floor. You better pick it up. And, um, you know, I was in the riots and looting and, and protesting in 92. Um, living in Watts, South Central LA. So, I mean, I just think God has a sense of humor, right? So 30, 32 years later, I'm now doing a movie about something that I really lived in real life when I was living in Watts. Um, so yeah, it was just, it, it was a lot of pressure to get it right, right? So if the movie is not about riot and looting, then what is the movie about? And how do we how do we sell this and make it realistic? Um, and how do I you know I have this I've always had this thing. You know, and I don't know where you're from, but when you're from the hood, from the ghetto, all you hear is your homies. Oh, that's corny. That wasn't believable. That's not. We would never say. We we never do that. I would, nobody would ever react or respond or go about that like that in the hood. And so I lived in the hood most of my life uh, before I left um, and moved my family away, but I always hear their voices and I always remember what our sensitivities and triggers and energy and, and vibrations were and, and kind of being born and raised in a boilerplate and then when, when 1992 happens, then they turn the oven up and now it's already bad and then it gets crazier. So yeah, it was a lot. I was scared, man. I mean, military, uh, shop owners on top of their store, shooting people, open season on black and brown people, man. And I was just thinking about it. I could be wrong. I know a lot of people were arrested, but not too many people were prosecuted at all for murdering, killing, shooting, doing anything, uh, because how do you prosecute something when it's complete mayhem? Yeah, well, I thought you handled that as an actor, and you know, the movie itself, I thought it handled that side of things amazingly. And you know, on the other hand, we see that Mercer will do whatever it takes to save his son. So then in contrast, what did you really enjoy about exploring that really unrelented, badass side of him as a father and as a protector in this movie? Um, it was my great honor. I just think um, us as black men need more of those type of images out there. Um, you know, the concept of dead be dad uh, could be pinned on every father's head if they're uninvolved or don't really have a presence. But what about all the fathers who've been present the entire time? And why does the dead be dead beat dads win the popularity contest over the, the, the present and involved father? So, you know, I, I wasn't involved because I was around. I was in jail. I was just living this life that the mother of my child decided, I don't want this life around our child. Um, and so when they both passed away, I had to make some real decisions. And I'm going to feed you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to house you. I'm going to protect you. Even though I just got here, I got you. And you're going to respect me in the process of it. So I think I think we I think we pulled that off. Yeah, well, for sure. Well, Tari, such a pleasure to speak to you. I thought you were amazing this in this film, and the film itself is phenomenal. So 
such a pleasure as a fan of yours to chat wow. to you today. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, sir. <laughs>